Yo, 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 what's the deal, what's the deal, it's your boy, it was Endo, and we back talking sports, it's part two of the NBA MVP award, it's nothing but a popularity contest, shout out to the case for Kobe Bryant as the GOAT, the uh, YouTube channel, go subscribe to his channel, man, it's right down there, you see it, uh, the media, uh, got around to giving Kobe basically a career MVP in 2000. What did I say at part one? The 08 MVP was BS because it was like they what you say a career MVP. Oh, we forgot about you in these class, we forgot about you these couple of three, four years. So, you know, what I'm saying we ain't gonna let you retire, you know, what I'm saying without getting one. And, um, you know what I'm saying, here you go when that wasn't even one of Kobe's best seasons. And as a Kobe Bryant fan, I can say that, you know what I'm saying. I'm happy he got the MVP at the end of the day because at least he got one. It would have been a shame if he never got an MVP award. That would have been totally nothing but hate. But at the same time, are we supposed to be happy about this? Kobe Ben should have won MVPs. This Ben should have been given to him. 2008, because enough of them started to like him by 2008. Uh, and uh, you know he had he had uh, gotten his team to the to the number one seed, uh, along with uh, the signing of, of Paul Gasol. So they said, oh, well, you know, we can't let him retire without him winning at least one. So we'll make this the season. That wasn't even one of his best seasons. There, there's no criteria to this award. No criteria to this award. Because that wasn't one of his best seasons. That wasn't better than the 06 season. It wasn't better than the 03 season. It wasn't better than the 01 season. It wasn't even better than the 07 season. Okay, so when we talk about uh, MVP, um, it, it it can't be taken seriously. There has to be a more rigorous standard, you know. Um, personally, I'm not really sure why uh, the media votes for any awards. Like I. I mean, I, I think the, the players and the coaches should be voting for these awards. And if not the players and the coaches, the fans should be. But here you have basically this select club of media. I agree. Um, because I think it should be some of the, I think it should be the Players Association. Or the players. I think it should be the players. The coaches. And then fan a little bit of the fans. For the MVP. Because just having all all media, it it it, it it's been fishy for years. And the MVP award hasn't been uh a consistent criteria for years, bro. One year they might pick somebody who's doing something historical and, you know what I'm saying, carrying a team. The next year they might overlook a dude that's really balling and really got his team uh, winning too, but give it to the best player on the best team or whatever like that. You know what I'm saying? They, they just don't know, bro. They don't know, bro. Or if you got a narrative that year, you know what I'm saying? They're going to, you know what I'm saying, try to give it to you or whoever is, you know what I'm saying, picture perfect in the media. So, media members, and they all get together and talk to each other, and it just becomes an echo chamber. There's no way that there should be such a unanimous consensus on Steph Curry. This, this, I mean, yeah, it's it's great what the Warriors are doing, and, and you know he broke the the award, and, and and all that's great, but that's got nothing to do 
with him being the most valuable player. I, I, Steph isn't even in the top five. <laughs> I mean, there, there are there are five players in the NBA more important to their team or more outstanding than Steph. Not many more than that. Yeah, I think this was the year that Steph uh, had that. Um, I think this is the year that Steph had that um, that slump. So he he actually got a point. The year he had that slump, I think I think it was the year he had that slump, bro. Because this year he turned up and he was great in a regular season. You know what I'm saying? But then he had got hurt. But yeah, he got a point. At certainly KD, certainly Giannis. Certainly uh, Nikola Jokic. Certainly LeBron. You know, a couple more people, I'm sure, that, that escaped my mind. But, I mean, I, I just named at least four. I mean, it's... I'm, I'm pretty sure DeMar DeRozan... What, what really frustrates me of, of, about this award, you know, um, I remember in, in, in Michael Jordan's prime, uh, after after uh, the Bulls <coughs> won the championship, won their first championship, uh, it was almost a foregone conclusion that he was going to win the MVP uh, because the consensus was that he was that the Bulls were the best team and he was the best player. Okay, uh, but then that that standard changed when Kobe was clearly the best player on the best team. You know, it, when, when, when Kobe was the best player on the best team, which would have been uh, 2009, okay? Then we started looking at LeBron's stats. So, I, 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 don't, I don't really know what the criteria is. He just dropped a jewel because, well, let me fact check him because, uh, yeah, we're going to have to fact check him because I think LeBron and them won, yeah, I think LeBron and them won uh 66 games that year so yeah he might be wrong on that because he he might be wrong on that i'm uh i'm checking something out yep that is the year that uh well, Kobe and them won 65 games. Uh, so he still might have a point. He still might have a point, bro. And he still might have a point. And if we look at the MVP, I think Wade was... He might should have probably won though. You know me. I have a. Uh... Okay, we got see, and this is what I be talking about, bro. But see, look, you know what I'm saying. You got LeBron probably. You know what I'm saying. He had twenty eight, seven, and seven, one point seven, one point. Yeah, he he was basically better in almost every category. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, he probably wrong on that one because LeBron team won more games and LeBron averaged more points, rebounds. Sorry about that. But if it's about stats, Wade averaged more points than LeBron. He averaged more assists, more steals, more blocks. He was a better field goal percentage. 
They was um, LeBron was two points higher on free throw percentage, and I guess because of you know what I'm saying the uh, uh, analytics, you know what I'm saying the win shares and the win shares for 48 minutes. But Cleveland won 66 games too, so he probably wrong on that one. But if we just talking stats, then Dwayne Wade probably should have won. If we talking most valuable player. You know what I'm saying? If we talking best player on the best team, LeBron probably still should have won. You know what I'm saying? So I probably disagree with him on that one. But let's get back to the video. You know, and I just think it's it's basically nonsense. My my way to evaluate this is I look at uh what what uh what statistical um, factors most contribute to a championship and um, uh, I, I've identified um, that being selected to the all defense team and scoring 25 points a game most correlates to winning championships okay uh, players that have done that have won the NBA championships about a third of the time and uh, as I've said in other videos, you cannot win the NBA championship without uh, being on the all defense team. And that's that's part of what bothers me about Steph. And that is because, you know, we, we know Steph has gotten better defensively. But we know that the reason the Warriors are so good is it very large part. The fact that they are playing with one of the best defenders in NBA history. So, I mean, I. I, you know who 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 are the Warriors? Were, are they this team, or are they the team that was, you know, barely got in the playoffs uh, last year because uh, uh, they didn't have quite the shooters, and, and Draymond was injured most of the season. So, um, Co Kobe's Kobe's one MVP uh, should be basically uh, eliminated. As, as a factor uh, it's basically all, all, to, to say to make the point that Kobe Bryant only had one MVP is merely saying that the media doesn't like him and never did and we know that but that's got nothing to do with the MVP Mary runs a growing e-commerce apparel store and we're going to end this video there because that's the truth it's been who is Hendo man and I'm out Peace.